This is a review of two new Arduino Uno boards, uh, Revision 4. They came in two variants. So let's check them out. They came in these plastic uh, holders, which is interesting. And let's compare them with previous Arduino Uno and with this uh, Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pico. I call it Arduino Pico <laughs> because uh, somebody wrote a wrapper uh, around Pico SDK and you can actually program them with Arduino IDE. So it's useful for comparison. So from the start, you can see that on the old Uno, you had Arduino B USB and now you have uh, on both boards you have C. Next thing is you have new CPU, uh, which is this ARM 32-bit by a company called Renesas. I've never heard of it. So the difference is, is on Uno you had 8-bit uh, Atmel chip and here you have 32 ARM chip. So from the start that's uh, also some performance bonus and this one at Mel runs on runs uh, at 16 megahertz, and this one is 48, and the Pico is like 130, and this one is also du dual core, so that's nice. Also, it's probably not very easy to program applications with two cores, but that's on another topic. And what that means is, on the Uno, like the integers were. 16 bits so it has limited range now on this uh, has 32 bits integers so that's nice this uh etmel chip had uh, 2 kilobytes of ram and 32 kilobytes of flash which is not a lot and the new new r4 uh, versions have 32 kilobytes of ram and 256 uh, kilobytes of flash which is better but in comparison to Pico, the Pico has 264 kilobytes of RAM and 2 megabytes of flash, which is obviously a lot more. Mm, so what else? Uh, this one has uh, Wi-Fi <laughs> by ESP32. Actually, this ESP is a lot faster than the, the main CPU, but I don't think you will program it, you know. And the other thing is uh, this beautiful LED matrix, which I found very, very fascinating. You can uh, flip on and off each LED and you can display some images or like images or, you know, characters or state of some of your program or anything like that. Mm. You can address them just like by two 2D matrix. And what else? Uh, there is this uh, QWYYC connector, uh, which is um, which you which you can control like uh, some I don't know like motors or stuff. But finally, it's only uh, three volts, three point three volts, and the main. Uh, CPU runs at 5, so if you connect this to 5 volts, you could burn something. So that's, that's also uh, interesting. Uh, and lastly, like the, the pins are, there are like uh, 14 uh, digital I.O. pins, uh, 6 analog, there is also a digital analog converter, there are 6 uh, PVMs, and only one uh, one serial, so it's this one. In comparison, the Pico has uh, three serials, but usually one you use for you know communications uh, through USB with your computer. So yeah, so you you can you can uh, get some peripherals on Pico with with two, or you can somehow hack you know the the state machines of the of the pins on Pico. I don't know if that's possible on the... You can have software serial actually on uh, Uno, but I don't know about the speed and stuff. 
So, what do I think about the boards? I think it's improvement to the Uno 3. Mm. I like between these two, I like this, this Wi-Fi more, mainly because uh, of the, like Wi-Fi is uh, mostly, you know, necessity now, the Pico has it. But this, I, I really like this matrix because usually when you r run your program, you want to get to know some kind of state, you know, temperature, humidity, state of the motors, whatever. And sometimes you don't have your PC connected in, so you can you can display something with with this. Mm. The cost is twenty five dollars, which is obviously more than six dollars of this Raspberry Pi Co, but for beginners it could be worthy. Also, uh, this is 5 volts and Pico is 3.3 .3 volts, so that might be worth of noting like for beginners or so on. Mm. So that's it for me, uh, thanks for watching and in next video I'll do some code examples with these two boards. So thanks for watching and Give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.